Without a doubt, the best way of checking QRadar's performance is using the QDI, QRadar Deployment Intelligence app. It's very thorough, gives you all kind of information, nice graphics and all that. But let's say you don't have that installed. Well, this would be checking QRadar performance uh, on a pinch. So, and I have learned all these techniques from my good friend Polo. Uh, so let me try to see if I represent what he showed me well here. So the first command, and I have shown this in a separate video, is the top command. And as you can see here, the parameter I look at most importantly is this one, the load average. And if this number is above the number of cores that you have in the current appliance, you are running these commands, the system is overtaxed. This is normal when the system is coming up. In fact, I haven't even seen in my appliance uh, uh, numbers that go to 70 and the low average. I only have 12 cores. But that settles down once the system is actually coming up. It's actually a good way of knowing or having an idea of whether QRadar is up or not. Control C to escape the top command. The other one is, uh, let's actually switch to OPT QRadar support, which most of these tools are. And let's actually use Q App Manager. And what this one is good for is to know your applications, all the apps that you have added, all the content extension, if they are working well. If that is the case, you will see here running. If you see someone's in error, well, this is the tool for you to actually start them, right? Stop them, start them, and get them up. By the way, there's a GUI way of doing this in the Curator Assistance app. But if you are in the command line mode, this is uh, one way of doing it. If you see one starting here, uh, it could be that the system is, uh, the Curator is fully up, but uh, these applications probably running on the app host are not ready yet. Let me exit here and show you the next one. And this one is called Threat. And this is a little, you know, specific Threat Top. Yeah. And this will basically list the top threads that are running in your Curator system. It takes a while for it to compile the information and it's going to show you those. Now, let's actually go to the headers. The important thing here is in the millisecond side. If you have anything that is above 1,500 milliseconds or one and a half seconds, there's a problem with that particular threat. It's actually something bad with it or, or, or you know, it's overload the system or something like that. But this will show you the top threats that are actually running. And norm this is kind of normal, the Tomcat, the GUI, they take some, the ingestion uh, of the process, the ingress in here, the, the processing of the rule, that's kind of a, should be kind of normal. Of course, this is going to give you a snap shot every time you actually uh, run it. You see, actually, it keeps on running, you know, periodically all the time until you exit that. You see that in this one, it's actually changing a bit. But again, nothing that is above the 1.5 second. You can also run this thread uh, top command with a specific port, and that's uh, kind of a, to look at something specifically. So I'm going to use this one, and I'll show you how you look for all the different ports. So this one is looking specifically for a section of QReader, as we can actually see in here. Okay, let me move the screen a little bit to the right. Now, how do you know which are all the threads? Well, if you do JMX, actually, slash L for listing all the possible options, you see here all the ports. So if you're interested in, for example, looking at historical correlation, you go here. If you're looking into host context, you will here. Let's actually say that we are looking at the uh, host context. Well, host context. So what you'll do is you issue the command as before, the one for the host 
context is 7778. So by doing so, you get all the threads that are related to that specific, uh, specific part of Curator. This command can be even more granular than that. I'm running the same JMX on that port 7787 and I'm asking it to look at these particular uh, threads. So that is actually a way of knowing whether, for example, how many events you are actually collecting. So we can see that in my event rate is uh, uh, 192 for at this particular moment that I run this and my license is a thousand. It's always give you a little bit above a thousand, right? So I have a thousand a license for up to a thousand EPSs and I'm consuming 194. If you but this is one snap in time, if you want to see it every two seconds of something, you can use the watch command. So here we're using the same command, but we'll watch, and then every two seconds, as we can see it here, refreshing. Now we say, you know, I have 184. Next time it runs in two seconds, it's going to be still 184, 196, and we we can actually see that again. These are kind of a getting down and dirty on the command line, but uh, if you are in a pinch and you want to check a few things on Qdata performance and do not have the luxury of having QDI, which is free by the way, but let's say that you don't have it installed. Uh, or then uh, this might be a good alternative.